Morning, it's Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. Came in a little bit early today to do a quick video um, asking for votes. We've made it into the top 50 NVS Audio. We'd like to make it into the top 12 with your help. Uh, I made it into the top 50 along with Gabrielle, uh, who's also shooting for Rookie of the Year. We need your help to help him. He's currently in third place for Rookie of the Year. Need your help to push him up into first. Uh, I'd also be honored to make into the top 12 of install of the year, but that's not really the point of making the video. As I'm making the video, I'm thinking about it, I'm going through the list. Obviously, if you can see behind me, um, been part of the awards for the past 10 years, been winning, been honored to be chosen for the past 10 years. It means a lot. It's changed my business a lot. There's a lot of people out there that say that the awards are only a popularity contest or this and that, or it's rigged and it's fixed. Listen, whatever your feelings are about this, if you feel it's a popularity contest, be popular. Win. Unlike high school, where being popular didn't get you anything, being part of the top 50 gives you instant credibility with potential clients, with other techs, with other shops. It's one of the only things that we have that we can use that's positive, that's only ours. Our industry is small compared to other industries. Uh, customers don't have a lot of resources to be able to filter out which shops are good, which shops are bad. This is instant. This gives you instant credibility. I don't know anybody on the top 50 installers or retailers that I wouldn't trust with my own vehicle. So you could have whatever feelings you have about how it's measured and how it's biased or this and that, but when you think about it and you go over the winners over the past 10 years, I don't think I could find anybody that makes the list that I wouldn't trust with my vehicle. We might have different install styles, we might do things differently, but at the end of the day, the core is that everything is done a certain way, everything's done with pride, everything's done specifically with the proper tools and the proper installation techniques. So we might have different styles in how we do things, but at the end of the day, anybody that makes that list is the best of the best, or one of the best. And there's a lot of people who don't participate, I get it, I understand that, but the the internet's taken away so many customers from a lot of shops it's pulled away from your business so much between customer shopping on amazon and ebay this is something that we have that can help us i have clients that choose us only because of that i've ch uh, because i leave my videos up from past years so as they're searching car audio they come across the video or as they're searching and then it gives me five or ten minutes to talk to a person i've never met to let them know about us and how we do things and why we're a little bit different, but whatever. You guys do whatever you feel you need to do to help your business. This is free. There's no charge for this. What else could you do to promote your business that's completely free, that's positive? Then on top of that, take a little time, fly out to, I think they have four shows. We always do Dallas in uh, August, but take some time out, fly. All the companies put a ton of money in, ton of time to put something together it's only for us you get exclusive training that you don't get anywhere else you get to network with the best in the industry you get to talk to your peers you get to meet people and then on top of that you get to meet other people on the list that you know how many of these guys refer work to me like if I, they get a, a job sometimes clients reach out to them they don't know what state the person's in and they're like well uh, in New Jersey I got Carlos at MVS Audio he can do a good job for you let me forward you his information and vice versa I do the same for them it's if you're not participating you're really you're really doing your customers a disservice you're doing yourself a disservice it's it's very important so I'm asking for your votes um, I'll put the links below but another reason for me making this video is I got to call out a few people as I'm going through the list there's a few shops that I wanted to see on the list that promised me previous years that they would go for it and they didn't so uh, first uh, Nick at Pacella Auto Sound. Uh, I know it's a new shop. I know you got a lot of stuff going on. I know you have your sound deadener company you just launched, but um, I need to see you on this list. And so everybody understands it's not a benefit for me to mention these guys and have these guys run because then it makes it harder for me, but I don't care. These are people that I feel do a great job, have an awesome shop, deserve to be on this list, and they don't even bother to try. So Nick, Apicella Auto Sound. Carry Exotic Tunes and Tint. I'm going to put a link to all these guys' shops so you can call them out too. Uh, my friend Jose 
at uh, Sound Concepts in Nanuet, New York. F Frankie Shop, two on one motoring in New Jersey. These are four shops that should definitely be on the list and for some reason they did not try. So Carrie, I'm calling you out for next year. Exotic Sounds and Tint. Frankie, 201 Motoring, New Jersey. Nick, Apsella Auto Sound in New York. And, uh, damn, who did I forget? Carrie, Exotic Sounds and Tint. Nick, Apsella Auto Sound, 201 Motoring. And I know there was one more. Let me check my notes. Sound Concepts, Nanuet. Jose, you promised me. So that's it, short video. Um, hopefully you guys vote for me and my team. No matter what, I'm honored to make the top 50. That's enough for me. And I'll see you guys in Dallas.